Kali is the indigenous fighting art of the Philippines, the true and authentic Filipino martial arts that transcend over the country's history. Over the years, the combat Kali martial arts were developed into a more scientific and practical application of fundamentals and techniques which currently adopt by the PNP Special Action Force to its trainings and programs under the leadership of the current director who is Major General Bernabe Mendoza Balba. Dumo is a grappling art of the Philippines also known as the Dirty Wrestling. It is a combination of disarming techniques, joint breaks, takedowns and grappling. The Sanggot is originated among Minangkabau people of West Sumatra in Indonesia, which is called Karambi. According to folklore, it was inspired by the cross of a tiger, a multi-use knife designed for user safety, precision, and efficiency. Indeed, the knife is a gruesome tool in the battlefield. This skill keeps the knife pointed at the aggressor while the other hand is held vertically to protect the ribs, head, and the neck. Disarming a loaded firearm involves a certain amount of risk. The technique employs of the four basic principles, and these are redirect the line of fire, control the weapon, disarming, and counter-attack. Edged weapons are used to hack, slash, thrust, and stop any opponent that possess a great danger to someone's life. This demonstration requires a lot of mastery in handling the live blade, as it may inflict injury to the defender holding it. Once again, the single live blade. Double live blade. Training with double live bolos a dimension and thrill to regular training. At this moment, after a rigorous training and dedication to master the art of Kali, imbued with skills, proficiency, and perfection, presenting to you once again, the Double Live Blade. The Urban Counter Revolutionary Warfare Course, also known as Shushak, is a training exclusively being offered by PNP Special Action Force to enhance skills and expertise of a SAP trooper for high-risk terrorist confrontations and urban crisis situations employing minimum use of force. After months of rigorous training, the students have gained knowledge, developed skills, and sustained a level of confidence and proficiency and now ready to be called a certified sure shocker. Confidence firing demonstration using the 556mm assault rifle with a distance of 50 meters to shoot its target. Confidence firing using the Glock 17 9mm pistol, which in this drill, the shooters must hit the balloons with a distance of 7 meters. The balloon simulates the role of the hostage taker, while the student body represents the role of the hostage. Obviously, failing this test can be resulted to a serious injury or a death of a comrade in arms. The course director of UCRWC 91-2020, Police Captain Dean Christopher Benyas, will serve as the shooter's body 
holding the given target. While his student is now ready to shoot at 7 meters distance showing with speed and accuracy. The shooters must hit its target at 10 meters distance and still positioned beside the shooter's body. This execution could get one's nerve but suppresses the feeling with faith and confidence to the skills of his body. He to shoot using a gun accurately while on standing position but how much more if they are shooting while moving? He's trying to master into perfection. From forward shooting, lateral movement left and right, good side and bad side movement, and transitions of weapons. Living with a motto in their minds, smooth is fast. The sum up of sustained combative tactics, sets of skills, techniques, and procedures employed by the graduating students to showcase their capabilities and skills acquired from the Urban Counter Revolutionary Warfare Course training. At the draft zone, the team leader reports to the commander that they are now at the designated draft zone. Upon the order of the commander, the assault team will move to their last cover and concealment. Upon arrival at their last cover and concealment, the team leader will conduct final accounting of troops and equipment check to ensure that the assaulting team is ready for the assault. Subsequently, the team leader will once again report to the commander about their present location and status. Upon the order of the commander, the assault team will move towards their final assault position, while the sniper operators will provide sniper support by fire to guarantee the security of the assault team while approaching to the final assault position. Close Quarters Battle CQB is a type of fighting in which small units engage the enemy with personal weapons at very short range. As far as Special Action Force is concerned, CQB is a specific subset of combat conducted by trained professionals emphasizing these three elements, surprise, speed, and violence of action. fell to the ground. After clearing procedure, the team leader commanded his comrades to dominate to make sure that the area of operation is under control. The team leader will report to the commander about the status of the current situation and seek for final guidance.
after reporting to the commander about their status report. Finally, the team leader commands the team to withdraw.